Ah, ah. Come on. Ah, ah. I know you want to do it again. Come on, boy. Walk away. You've got a friend to go play with. Go play with him. Come on. Sorry, everybody. He's going to turn around and do it again. He came a little bit too fast for my liking. We found our elephant. Can I switch off my engine now, my boy? We're going to come and do this again. Hey? You're not even in must. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, my boy. Okay, see, we're all relaxed now. We're all relaxed now. Except you're not. You want to do it again. I can see you do. Sorry, everybody. I can't drive away from him now. If I do, he's going to chase us down the road. Can't obviously go through him. So we're just going to have to sit this one out. He's going to turn around and do it to us again, Dave. Just so you know. And here we go again. Don't do it, please. You've got a buddy to go play with. See this trunk curling, resting on his tusks? It's all displaying behavior. And he had us at a bit of a disadvantage because we came around the corner and he just came for us. Hey? I hear you, boy. I will go. I will back off, I promise, but I can't do it now. So you and I have got to give each other some space. Okay. Okay. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Come on, my boy. I promise you I'll back up soon. I won't follow you, but you just got to give me the space to do it. Yeah, yeah. Calm down. Here we go. Here we go. There you go, eh? What was that all about? Hey, temper tantrum? I wasn't even going that fast. You saw me coming from ages away. Why have you got to be like this? Yes, sniff the ground. Sniff the ground and let us both pretend like you're distracted when I know you're not. And the twisting and curling of the trunk. It's all displacement behavior. And he's gonna do it again. He's gonna give us at least one last head shake before he walks away. In that sort of defiant way. As if to say, yeah, I'm leaving because I want to, not because you made me. You come up, boy. What on earth was that all about? You came from far away. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Here comes your buddy. Go play with him. Don't you come and start now. Look, he's having his breakfast. Why can't you have your breakfast? Go have your breakfast. Oh. And you released gas in our direction mm -hmm. to add insult to injury. These two have been scrapping. That's why he's so foul-tempered. Come on, boy. Well, we found our elephants. Slightly larger than a flamingo. And you don't have any excuses because you're not hot and you're not in must. I read you want to know what the wet patches are around his belly and his legs. He's been mud bathing. I saw their tracks earlier from when they went into the mud puddles. Come on, there's a nice friend for you to go play with. Go play with him. Go on. Come on. Come on, boy. Come on, boy. Rocking backwards and forwards. So he's been playing in the mud with his buddy. Come on, my boy. Come on. Hey, 
Go do it to Brent. He's got the VR. We're still at this impasse. Eh? One of the other things we don't want to teach our elephants is that by behaving like this, they can have fun with the vehicles. They can come and chase them. Because the next thing you get somebody who doesn't know what they're doing, who's just innocently driving along the road, and all of a sudden you have a problem because they don't know how to behave. And we don't want to teach them that because then they become problem elephants. And that's not something that we want. See, his trunk's still curled over his tusk. But he's still threatening us and he's talking, he's rumbling. What's got you in such a bad mood? Don't back into me either. Okay. Very twisty turn behind me. That is going to be very difficult to do rapidly in reverse. Ah. Helicopter. Is that what's got you upset? Hey? Is that what's upset you? I'm not 100% convinced you're eating that tree either. Where is that helicopter and is it coming in this direction? Ellie's don't like helicopters. It is one of those things. And the loud buzzing noise, much, much louder than our drone, for example, and especially if they're doing a census or a count, which they have to do, so it's nobody's fault, but it does have a tendency to put elephants on edge. Please don't even begin to think you've got me fooled, mister. You're okay. You on the right. You're enjoying your breakfast. But you are not in any way interested in that russet bush willow. So let's both drop the pretense, huh? So bulls often do this. They throw their weight around, quite literally. And Rachel, there you go. You want to know if the elephant saw the car as a threat or if he's just showing off. He's showing off. I'm sorry, I'm not going to look back at you at the moment. I'm going to watch him because I feel as though any moment he's going to turn. So forgive me. I'm going to just keep watching him. Um, Rachel, I don't think he saw us in a threat at all. Um, he just decided, we were coming around the corner, he's probably been battling with this other boy and he just decided he needed to prove a point. Bull elephants do that. Female elephants, it is a slightly different approach. They're being protective of their herd. They want to make sure that you know not to push into their personal space boundaries. If this had been a cow, I'd still be behaving the same way, but I would be trying to get some space, a little bit more space between us almost immediately because she's less likely to chase me if I'm just moving away from her family. As long as I'm showing that I don't want to be a threat to her, that I want to move away from her herd, um, then she will, she'll interpret that behavior. And generally the female's less full of nonsense than the males. She's not likely to come charging down the road after me. Now I'm trying to tell him now by talking in a low tone that it's okay. I'm, I, I hear his message. I'm not going to come any closer. But at the same time, he's not going to intimidate me. Now he's going to show me how big and strong he is, Dave. You're going to push over a tree. He's not, he's not an old, old bull, but he's not young either. And I'm sorry, that's a very profound sentence. What I mean by that is he's not young enough to sort of be insecure. Often the younger insecure bulls play around with us but they're very easily intimidated. And the older bulls tend not to be full of nonsense at all. They've become sedate in their old age. But he's just reaching the age where his must cycles are gonna hit him fully. All right, I'm gonna let my Ellie bull slowly move off. There we go, good boy. Meantime, shock and horror, Steph is being charged by something very tiny.